And they're not talking about like deep sort of thing. You know, you get women together, what do they do? Book club? Right? Not exactly like hunting and fishing. There's reasons for this. God designed us differently. You don't have to overthink it. Now, can certain men be more feminine than others? Of course. Can certain men have more of kind of an inclination towards empathy? Obviously. Do men have zero empathy? No. But there's a hard wiring. There's a circuitry. There's a DNA in us. And the Bible speaks... What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Kirk reminds pro trans leftists. Men and women are different. This is going to be interesting, guys. I'm really amazing. I couldn't tell kick it because I love kicking ass. Let's get right to today's video. That man has been an inspiring figure to me, and I call him a man because he's a transgender woman, okay, you know, under your definition. So yeah. does that make him less of a man? Does the character he's displayed not only as a teacher but as a veteran, well, look, that's does awfully, that reduce that's, his masculinity? Well, that's awfully hypothetical because I don't know this person, but you're kind of proving my point. You said that the trans person is really empathetic, therefore feminine. Not really, no. There's yeah. no correlation there. Empathetic is Empathy a feminine Empathy is not quality. a feminine trait. No. It absolutely is. Absolutely not. You no. get a group of men together. No, no, no. There is no difference. You, you there don't know is exactly. No. The football team Empathy. is not Karen. Empathy is one of the most masculine traits imaginable. Okay. Look, I mean, That's what brings look, about man. change. Uh, all right, okay. So, um, you're wrong? So How am uh, I wrong? Because you're pandering to a specific crowd? Well, all of a sudden, my point is invalid? Look. Again, you're playing the machizo, machismo card. I'm machismo, not. Machismo, yes. Yeah. So because you're just, the one who's placed such a value on the role of men. You you're the you one. Let, let me finish the point. Yeah, Go ahead, slow down. Please. You're at like a 10. You've got to be at like a 3, man. All right? Okay, There's on. one person getting upset here. Here, you get a bunch of men together, a hunting club, a football club, any sort of group of men. They're not sharing feelings, and they're not talking about like deep sort of thing. You know, you get women together, what do they do? Book club? Right? Not exactly like hunting and fishing. There's reasons for this. God designed us differently. You don't have to overthink it. Now, can certain men be more feminine than others? Of course. Can certain men have more of kind of an inclination towards empathy? Obviously. Do men have zero empathy? No. But there's a hard wiring. There's a circuitry. There's a DNA mm. in us. And the Bible speaks to this. Experience speaks to this. And quite honestly, just look around. It speaks to you. There's different needs, wants, and interests all around you. So you ask a hypothetical question, but does it make the person less of a man, even though they, I, I, I'm not going to answer the hypothetical, but I will say this. The rejection of the patently obvious masculine and feminine traits that have built all of society and the humility it takes to say, I don't have patience as a man like women do. Guess what? Every man should have the courage to say that. I don't. I lose patience easily. I look at women, they have the patience to listen and all of this. I'm not, it's not the way I'm wired. I want to. I want to. I want to go through walls. I want to take care of problems. Guess what? That's masculine energy. If it's not properly harnessed, you could invade Ukraine. Like that's basically what ends up happening, right? That, and we see that on full display. So, thank you for your question. I'm going to get to other questions here tonight. So, thank you. Appreciate it. This one was kind of like hated because the pro-trans leftist is pissed. He's angry, and he believes in this um, transgender routine. Because the pro trans, it's it's just that uh, men and women are totally different. Like, biblically, physically, emotionally, everything, guys. We are all different. Men and women. You can you can never tell me, um, a, a woman who transgender to be a man, um, has the entire characteristics of a man. Never. It can never happen, guys. It can never happen. That's it's just a funny thing. No matter how you transgender yourself, you can never be perfect. You can never be that gender. You, you look like, but you are not. It's a clear picture. You look like by being a trans, but you are not that gender. You are still, you still remain your gender you were born with. That is the funny aspect of it. So the, the guy's point of view, his anger, his frustration, it should go pour it out somewhere else, not on Charlie. Charlie Kirk is telling him, you're 100% wrong, bro. Calm down. <laughs> there is no how a man has the um, characteristics of, of a woman aspect of like, okay, let's do it this way. Um, let's go to the book club. Let's talk about our emotions first. No! Men go hard. They go, they go full force. They want it done instantly. They, want, they, they, they have the fire. They, get, they have the, the drive in them. It's totally different, guys. You, can, you cannot explain it unless you are a man yourself. You, you cannot transition from a woman 
to be a man and have that same feeling and understand what the entire men are saying. You can you can grab it, but you can feel it. I don't know how we describe it for you. Like it's it's a man thing. Even if you transition from a woman to a man, you can grab grab it. That's what I'm gonna say. We are all different. You should leave it the way God made it. We are all different. You can't tell me a woman who does come to be a man by transitioning or dressing like one or acting like one. You still cannot be one. I don't know why the guy is frustrated. I don't. I just don't know why he's pain. He, he, his voice sounds like he wants to cry. It's fun. It's, if it sounds like Charlie's trying to like reduce him down or suppress his his own weights down. But the the truth of the matter is, what he's saying is totally not right, and it's hundred percent not true. So I don't know where he's getting where he's getting his findings from or where he's reading from. You should keep it to yourself. I should go for his frustration on someone else, not on Charlie Kick, because Charlie is pointing him in the straight path, and he still don't want to understand it. This was beautiful to watch. I I, I love the entire video. I, it was heated, but I love how Charlie handled it calmly. So comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Many of you can. I don't know if I talk too fast in this video, but pardon me because I was kind of like also heated myself. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all